How strong is Goku Jr.? Now, Goku Jr. makes his debut in Dragon Ball GT at the end of the series and also in his own special spinoff, which would be the Heroes Legacy special that came out as well, which showcases just a little bit more about this character. But how powerful is Goku Jr.? Now, as we see, of course, at the end of Dragon Ball GT, he's showing up to the World Martial Arts Tournament and he battles against Vegeta Jr. And they both was able to go Super Saiyan at a young age, pretty much kind of similarities to Goten and Trunks being able to transform as like the youngest Super Saiyans. And this kind of like another homage to that. And they both battle out while Goku is watching them in this match. Now we also get a little bit more about his story when we watch a hero's legacy which is pretty much showing that he grows up with pan and at the time he's not very strong he barely shows any key of like fighting or any type of like you know resistance of anything like that and the thing about this character is that a lot of people i see some people saying that you know goku jr is weak because of this and a whole bunch of other things about him getting super saiyan and it still wouldn't be as strong as probably as you know maybe maybe like comparable to Goku and Dragon Ball and that is absolutely false and not the case because yes at the time he is weak in a hero's legacy when you see him not wanting to fight and not having any you know basic anything but just think about it Goku Jr. is most likely a descendant through the bloodline of Gohan I won't say Goten because we don't know if Goten had kids or not, but you know, him also just being connected to Pan and Pan being his great grandmother, that it has to be through the Gohan lineage. So at this point, Goku Jr., I see there's a lot of things that people kind of miss, like the whole headband, which is pretty much an homage to, you know, Bardock, and also just the outfit being very similar to him wearing Goku's old outfit in dragon ball gt and then you know him having kind of like a gohan's personality not really wanting to fight being gentle but also we do see some level of that hidden power because when pan gets sick and the bullies is trying to like you know pressure him he kind of unleashed some of his key indirectly without knowing how to fully control it so there is that you know gohan in him so at the same time it just also having a little bit of that goten personality so there's a lot of homages when you look at goku jr and seeing different aspects of different characters and with that him being a hybrid saiyan he's definitely got a lot of hidden power just like i said him being able to achieve super saiyan at a young age that's something that goku couldn't do in dragon ball and vegeta already explained this about the hybrid saiyan being very much stronger than what we see and with him probably having the same genes as Gohan, he may have that certain rage boost that Gohan has and not wanting to fight and being a gentle character. But it looked like he kind of is able to later on, you know, get over that a little bit with somebody like Pan, who's going to show him a little bit more about training and him being able to meet Goku at the end of the hero's legacy and kind of like, you know, maybe that is what sparks that change in him to start actually training and focusing and learning to control his key and his power which will unlock all that extra power that he actually has and with that being said you know it's kind of like with gohan getting trained by piccolo but this time i think it's a little bit different where he's not scared and actually have to like go into like an actual life-threatening battle like how gohan had to go through He's just going to a tournament where it's off of fun and games and, and safety. So he can actually kind of go all out a little bit in the sense where he's knowing there's not no real danger. And by him being able to control his power to that extent, it definitely unlocks a lot more of his hidden power that he has. And him being a hybrid saying we know there's a lot of hidden power from what we've seen Gohan was able to do. And even from Future Trunks unlocking just these, you know, other transformations like Super Saiyan Rage that he was able to unlock against Goku Black. Now, going back to Goku Jr., as we see him fight fighting Vegeta Jr. in the tournament, they're both is able to pretty much do battles that we didn't see even in Dragon Ball. So definitely Goku Jr. probably has, you know, a lot more power than we expect. We don't know exactly because we don't get to see too many battles of him 
from that point after the tournament so we don't know how far he's came and how strong he has gotten since then from a hero's legacy so with that we don't really know but i would definitely say he's roughly equal i would probably compare him to goten and trunks in power during the boo saga because of just the showcase that they was able to showcase in the tournament it kind of resembles that a little bit so at the current moment we don't really know how powerful they are but i'll definitely say they're roughly around that range and if he continues to train and take it serious he could definitely become something very much you know more stronger i'll say now off topic to this video i got a new series i'm starting and the first video is, is going to be covering you know some other things so definitely watch this video because you're going to need to watch this video to pretty much get into this next video that's coming and it's going to be a start of a brand new series um i'm not going to reveal the name yet and everything but just know that it's definitely going to be connected to this video for the first you know part so stay tuned we got more videos on the way and i'm out